Hello, everybody. So I wanted to give an update to the food plots that I planted out in the middle of the woods this January. I came out here with my tractor, and I pushed away the branches and the debris, and I rototilled this site, spread a little bit of lime with, I think it was a pull-behind spreader, but this one might have been a push spreader, and then I hand broadcast some clover seed. I used Ladino clover, and I used red clover. And those were the only two seeds that I used, and I used that because it was available for me. So, that little bit of effort that went into this, and I have a really nice clover patch out here in the woods. If I get down here close, I can show you. It's getting pretty thick with some clover down in here. I've got other weeds that are coming up in here, of course. This has not been sprayed, and... Those other weeds were getting kind of tall, so the only thing I've done to this after I planted the seed is I actually came through with my zero-turn yard mower, raised the deck all the way so I wasn't mowing the clover, and I mowed the weeds. You can see the tops of the grasses right here. I knocked those weeds down so they weren't growing up and overtaking the clover, and that's it. This was super easy. I see online so many people making such a big deal out of food plots and getting the right chemical mixtures and the right fertilizer mixtures and putting days and days worth of energy into this. And I did not, and I've got a really nice clover plot right here. So I don't plan on putting sprays on here. I'm having deer come through and use this during the day and during the night. Actually, when I just walked out here, I jumped a doe and i'm sure she's got a fawn bedding somewhere nearby and a woodchuck was out here eating this and a freaking rabbit all the wildlife in the woods are enjoying this little tiny food plot that i made and you can see i have a tree stump right here in the camera view that's right in the middle of this food plot that i made and i didn't cut down that tree it's not like i did that to create this food plot I had the woods logged several years ago, and that stump is remaining from that logging. And if you look up, I'm going to look up, there is a hole in the canopy from where that tree was standing. But obviously it's like midday, and hardly any light gets through to this food plot. So it's not like you have to have a huge open canopy. Again, so many videos online say you have to clear out the trees and push everything back and make all this huge space. But this is proof in my mind that you really don't. And if you don't believe it, you're going to have to just try. It's so super easy. I definitely recommend it. Off to the side here. I've got a tree stand not far away. I've got a bee swarm trap for the honeybees up in there right now. But I've got a trail that runs right through here. You can see piles of logs here. There's some debris that I shoved up over that way. And then the background is just thick with trees and it's just that way naturally i didn't clear any trees out of this area it's just the way this was all i did is clear down the debris that was already laying in here so all you got to do is clear it out till it up or even a hand rake to work up the ground a little bit so you get good seed to soil contact and it's definitely not too late in the season i did this in january because it was nice weather and i needed something to do you could go out right now and do this and have a really nice clover food plot for this for this October hunting season. Definitely worth a try. I'm going to move on to another food plot that I have out here. Here's my other food plot. This one's a little bit larger. This one goes all the way the length of this trail that I have right here practically. Except it's narrow, and it really narrows up down here at the end. But the exact same situation. I did not take down a single tree out here. Any stumps that are out here were already out here. And I just worked around them. And the tree stumps make a great spot to put your salt blocks. If you're salting deer, great spot to throw salt blocks out for deer. And what's really handy, this stump is a great example... The side you put your salt block on, nothing is growing down here because the deer are keeping it cleared out and the salt is keeping it killed down. Look at this other side. 
it's super thick with brush and thorns and everything else. So a salt block is a great way to control the weeds and the vines and the thorns from growing around those tree stumps where you can't really get to and you can't mow. Now, another thing that I have going on here in this food plot, I have a mock scrape. And my mock scrape is really simple. It's just a probably inch and a quarter thick grapevine hung on some old bale twine hanging off a branch right here. I've got a trail cam here. I'm gonna show some video of this mock scrape being used at the end of this video. And I'm also going to show a clip or two from that other food plot of the deer going out in it. But this is all you need. It takes some work getting all the brush and everything removed. But it is easy and very rewarding. And just hand spreading the seed and seeing it grow up and the animals use it. It's a great addition to the woods out here. Especially come this hunting season. So I'm going to quit talking and I'm going to show you guys some video of the deer using these food plots.